Welcome to another trade recap where I'm day trading S&P features on an Apex evaluation account. You can sign up for your own Apex account with my link in the description and use my coupon code for 50% off your first month and 50% off all recurring months. I go long when I see another ICT setup form. This time there is no liquidity grab, but there was a clear rejection out of a one hour fair value gap which are generally pretty reliable for trend changes. I let price do its thing for a bit and move up my stop loss to each higher pivot low on the five minute chart. When price continues to chop around, I get a little nervous about getting stopped out and slightly lower my profit target and get a nice scalp here. Of course, my original profit target gets hit not too long after, which makes me think I should really stop adjusting this. I'm still testing how to adjust my profit targets, but if I notice that my original targets continue to get hit, I'll add to my rules that I can't change them anymore. This was actually a pretty decent ICT setup. The only problem was that this was a one minute bearish setup that formed inside of a higher time frame bullish setup. I was aware of this, so I set a pretty conservative profit target, targeting sell side liquidity from the morning, but it wasn't conservative enough. After price takes out liquidity form during lunch hour, buying pressure picks up again and it gets stopped out. Thankfully, I lowered my stop loss to decrease the risk after price initially moved in my favor, and I just take a small loss here, which ends my trading day per my risk rules. On Tuesday, after price rallied hard due to the positive data that inflation was lower than expected, I was surprised to see price retrace all the way back down. I waited until I found some support and identified what I thought was a market structure shift before entering long inside a fair value gap. Well, in hindsight, I realize now that I had misidentified this market structure shift and it was actually a lower time frame liquidity grab above relative equal highs, and my trade didn't have a chance as price continued to plummet, stopping me out for a quick loss. I also knew that since this was post CPI price action, there was just higher risk when trading, so I wasn't too surprised that I took a loss. Still, it sucked to lose my first trade of the day because I had to immediately stop trading, but I stuck to my rules for the sake of long term capital preservation. So after having an outlier of a day last Friday, winning four trades in a row, we reverted back to the average with one win and two losses to start off this week. Despite these disappointing results, I'm actually pretty pleased with myself that I was still able to follow my rules today and only took a trade based on my trade requirements. I didn't take any degen trades to try to chase any big moves during today's CPI volatility, which I used to do quite a bit, which always resulted in big losses. So I like to think that this shows some of my growth as a trader. The account is currently at 51,402, about halfway to the profit goal. I used to feel some sort of pressure to pass an evaluation account before the next monthly fee hits, but I'm realizing how silly this is. The risk of overtrading and blowing up an account is not worth saving a monthly fee, especially because I'd have to pay it anyway if the account gets blown. Slow and steady wins the race, and it's easier to stay slow and steady if I don't put a deadline on when I need to pass. It could take two or even three months to pass this evaluation account with these risk rules, but I plan to stick with them. I've already gone so many days following them that I'm confident I'll be able to keep this up. The urge to keep trading after taking a loss is still there, but it really is becoming less tempting. Hopefully this psychology trading is working. The only degen thing I did do today was use my volatility strategy on the initial price spike of the CPI release, which resulted in instantly passing another evaluation account. Check the video card if you want to learn more about this strategy. Just a warning that this strategy is highly risky and should only be attempted with a prop firm evaluation account, where your max loss is capped to the price of the evaluation. I do plan to try this strategy for the FOMC rate hike announcement tomorrow, and will most likely not be taking any trades on my primary evaluation account that I'm trading responsibly on this YouTube channel, unless I see an absolutely perfect setup. It sounds weird, but for me, attempting this degen strategy on these high volatility events adequately scratches that gambling itch that actually allows me to be more responsible with my main account. So I'll continue with this strategy for future volatility events. As always, thanks for watching. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe so you're notified of the next time I post a trade recap. In the meantime, I'll continue posting daily profit and loss updates in my channel's community tab.